are you? I am fine. How are you? Fine. Hi, Dennis. I am fine. How are you? Yeah, I am doing good. How are you? Yeah, I am fine. Come on, sit here. Yeah, yeah. It's very hot, right? Let yes. me bring some water for you to drink. Yeah, sure. Come thank on. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. What is this? So salty. Yeah, we usually drink this drink this water here because it contains so many minerals and salts and it is uh, good for health basically. Do you guys drink it directly? Because being salty and uh, being packed with a lot of minerals is also uh, not good for health actually. It is bad for health because if you take an example of sea water, people don't drink it directly because there is a reason that uh, it has a lot more minerals than required to us. So usually it creates a problem, health issues. Why don't you install Arvo filter? It not only purifies the water, it uh, enhances the taste of the water. Yeah, but uh, I don't think uh, like RO is necessary everywhere. Because if you take example uh, of anywhere, I mean uh, the water, so it depends on the TDS of the water. TDS? What is TDS? Yeah, TDS, don't you guys know about TDS? No. Oh. Because TDS is a uh, very important parameter when we check the purify, I mean purity of the water. Because TDS means total dissolved solids. Let me show you. I have a TDS meter. Okay. So this is called TDS meter. Oh. So this is a device used for checking the total dissolved solids in the water. So it usually shows how much uh, like solids are totally there in the given amount of water. This is used like this. Okay. See. The water has the TDS of 4 ball. So it means it's okay to drink, but uh, it is still preferable if the TDS is below 200 or below 150. It is always preferable if we have the low TDS amount in the water because there will be a lot more dangerous min uh, like minerals like lead and etc. Et oh, wait a minute. Then I have some RO water which I have brought from my friend. Uh, shall we check that? Okay, yeah, sure. Please. Yeah, yeah. Let me drink it. Just a second. Just take this one. Yeah. See, this has a TDS of 60, 59, I mean 60, uh, we can approximately take it by 60. So it is okay to drink because the less TDS indicates that the water has overall less uh, amount of solids in it. Because uh, in the case you told about this Argo, right? Since it is Argo, it is having a TDS of approximately 60. But you can also uh, have different types of filters. Like we have a filter called uh, UV, I mean ultra filter uh, oh. and nano filter. And also we have a filter called as Arvo filter. So usually we uh, install these filters based on the TDS of the water. So if we have TDS approximate to 300 to 400, you can install the ultra filter. If, if you have the TDS of 500, 600 in that range, you can install the nano filter. If you have a very high TDS amounts like 800, 900, in that cases you can go for the Arvo because Arvo comes with a lot of cost and it also wastes a lot of water. So it will, it will be only advisable if you use RO at the higher range of soft TDS since it removes all the uh, total dissolved solids in it. So then uh, I think uh, if it removes, removes all the essential minerals in the uh, water, is that okay to... Yeah, that's actually a good question because water has a lot of important um, minerals and also like uh, dangerous minerals. Because our body requires uh, certain doses of calcium, magnesium, and etc. etc. Because uh, if you take water, uh, water a liter of water approximately has 40 grams of calcium and 10 grams of magnesium. But our body needs 1200 grams of calcium and uh, if 400 grams of magnesium, approximately 8 to 10 percent of recommended daily dosage for a grown adult, which is very less in terms of even if you take the peanuts, these are very rich in calcium and yeah. magnesium. So, in any grown people who are having a good diet can uh, fulfill their daily dosages. 
So uh, in this situation, the TDS is not at all a problem because water uh, usually has a very low mineral uh, quantities. If you talk about high TDS uh, levels of water, it can cause a really severe problems such as high TDS water causes uh, kidney stones and also a dangerous diseases uh, such as if, a, if the water is very, very high in fluorine and chlorine levels, these can cause uh, chronic fluorosis and also bladder cancer, etc. diseases. So, it, it is very dangerous and also water which is infested with bacteria can cause cholera and diarrhea which are very dangerous diseases as we know. So in this situation, it's always recommended to have the less tedious um, uh, of water and also drink the water which is purified. In the sense, you can also have UV uh, purifiers which uh, kill the bacteria by using ultraviolet rays. These are really uh, safe options. For one who cannot accommodate those, they can directly boil the water and drink it since boiling also does the same job of killing a lot of bacteria. And yearly, a lot of people are dying, uh, around 1 million around the globe are dying due to drinking uh, in okay. bacteria infested water and uh, yeah, wrong right. water, contaminated water. So, it's really uh, important to that we create awareness regarding this. Thank you, Dheeraj, for making me aware of this. And I, and, and I assure that I will make everyone aware of this. Yeah, thank you so much. Now, I have a doubt. Yeah, please go ahead. <clears throat> in my case, can I install a nano filter? Is that a good option for me? Yeah, in your case, nano filter works more than enough because since your uh, TDS is approximately 415, yeah. nano filter works very good in that uh, range of TDS. Not only that, you can also install a UV uh, filter with the nano filter technology. So, what UV does is basically it kills all the bacteria yeah. and virus. So, you can get both of them based on your affordability. In the case, if, if you cannot afford it, you can also boil the water and drink it, which is also a very good option. Yeah. We should also think about saving water. Since Argo wastes a lot of water, we should think about the TDS and then we should install the purifier based on the TDS ranges. We, the members of JCA Vaisai, are responsible for clean water, uh, spreading awareness on clean water sanitation. Thank, Thank you. you.